Scott from My Life's Reward. I'm going to take GPX files and show you how to animate them. Stay tuned. Sometimes when I'm watching a YouTube channel and I see somebody do something, I just ask myself, how, how are they doing that? And uh, so with the animation that I do with my GPX files on my G with my GPS data, I thought, hey, let me, let me show everybody the software that I use and how I set it up and how I generate those animations. So that's what we're going to do here next. So stay tuned. The software that I use to do this is called RouteGen, and it's freely available. You can search for it uh, with your Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever you want. You can go to this link down here, um, find that link there and click that. And then depending on whether you want a 32-bit or 64-bit version for Windows or you're using Linux, um, you would download the appropriate copy. And then you just uh, execute route gen and it comes up, it looks like this. As you create files, they're called projects. So the very first icon, we're gonna go across the from left to right the icons. You have, you know, start a new project, and then there's open an existing project. And then the next icon is saving a project. And then RouteGen does look at Google Maps and it brings in portions of the map where your route is. So you can save those uh, separately. And then this icon here is uh, where you would actually import your GPX file. And if you want to manually create your route, you can do that with the next icon. Undo, redo. This can play a route here. And then uh, you can stop playback. This actually, this icon here generates the output. And then you can actually leave. Uh, route gen. Our thickness of the line, I think it's 1 through 10. And then the type of line, as you can see, there's dashed and dots. And, and then the next one is the color of what you want it to look like. And uh, here you can use an icon. I, use, I happen to use a red dot. It's just easier for me to see. You can import different types of icons if you want. And in this next area, you can set the time that you want it to play uh, the route. You can change that to whatever you'd like. And then I didn't really notice a difference with the smooth route check mark, but I just leave it checked. Now in your mapping software, you would want to go export, let's say in Gaia, you would want to export the route and then you would export it in the GPX format. And that's what I've done here with this particular example. So now I'm just grabbing it to import it. After you select it for importing, you have this pop up here. So I always choose import new map. And then it kind of sort of does a good job in getting you close. And then I like to grab it and I just like to get it centered. If I'm going to throw some stats up on the screen, I might move it more to the left or the right, depending on where I want the stats to appear. But I do know that this green square represents the route and its outer limits across the top i'm you know i'm not sure this is the right thing to do this is just what i do um, the resolution that i output my video in is 2560 by 1440 so i set that resolution here it may not have anything to do with it uh, it works when i have it at different resolutions i just i guess i want the crispest uh, image. So I, I just try to match things up wherever I need to and whatever software I'm using. The zooming, uh, the zoom where it says 10, it's the same as your scroll wheel on your mouse. Um, it just changes it that way. It's not very precise. And then uh, here we have the different map overlays. There's only a few. And I'll use the terrain one here. The next step is to save the actual map image. 
there's three files associated with the route gem project the project file itself the gpx import file that you're going to use and then the the map image file that you might save out so here i'm going to play it back with seven seconds uh the seven seconds represents from the time it starts to the time it ends. And I, and I know you might know that. I'm just saying that for a reason because I'm going to do something a little bit later that will change that. On the help screen, this is just a tutorial area that is about the best that you can get for instructions other than maybe the web page where you downloaded it from. There may be additional instructions there. Here, we're going to show the preferences, and you can make some adjustments on how things start and stop for the actual video file that's generated. And you can see in here we have a delay begin, a begin delay and an end delay. And that's kind of neat if you want to just have people, you want to, you want to show the image, and you want people just to have a chance to get oriented. Okay, what are they looking at? And then the actual route starts animating as far as the fps frames per second and the keyframe rates the maximum values there are 30. Uh, the, by default they're set at 25. for the codec uh, i have been using the mpeg4 the default codec for route gen i'll make an adjustment and end up with the h.265 and i'm going to see if that fixes I, I every once in a while i see a jump the the cursor jumps as the animation moves to the screen and every once in a while it jumps in some weird way. I want to see if that fixes that. Now the problem with doing the H.265 in Windows is it's not a default. It doesn't, we, you don't have the codec. So you have to go buy the codec. It's 99 cents. And uh, I'll, I'll actually do that here and purchase that and see if that makes a difference. Now here you can see it, it's generating the file and it's making the mp4 file called animated route animated route.mp4 i'm going to bring up the folder that it's in just to show you you do when you do generate these files you want to you want to have an empty folder otherwise it won't work it'll tell you it's got to be empty and i always have a folder called animate off of my video project file folder area and the one you're interested in is the, the left one there is the MP4. These are just, uh, these other files are just support files that it doesn't delete for some reason. Now you can go into this preference area and you can say, hey, you, uh, don't delete the image frames because it creates dozens upon dozens of image frames. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to go ahead and empty out the folder because you have to have an empty folder in order to do this to animate. So now that it's empty, I'll go back and re regenerate the uh, real render. I'll go back and render the video here again. And uh, it completed the render. This is all in real time, by the way. Then we're going to go out and look at this. And you'll see a whole bunch more files coming up here. So that checkbox just stops it from creating these map, these map image snapshots. As I did try to play that file, it does confirm that I don't have the codec, but I but I will be purchasing it here so I can use it. And this is post purchasing the codec, and now it works fine. And the last icon on the right does quit or exit route gen, and then knew that it had an unsaved project, so it's giving me a chance to name that project and save it someplace. So as I'm exiting, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to load that project back up. And it's right where we left off. 
And that completes the overview of route gen. I want to thank you for stopping by the channel and checking this video out until next week. Take care. Thank you.